Gilbert got freed and uh, I want to tell you about Scrattle Vision and it's by uh, it's being hosted by Jimmy Joe Straddle and uh, it's Straddle Vision and it's uh, it's a complete waste of time. J- don't waste your time with it. Please don't watch Scrattle Vision. Uh, he interviews his musician friends. And that's really when you hit the big time that you have to, all you could get are friends of yours who pity you. He interviews his friends who are musicians who, well, they're musicians at home. Uh, They uh, make money by cleaning the grills at McDonald's. I'm not going to watch Scrattle uh, Vision. I'm not going to. Uh, it's, it's too big a waste of time. And, uh, but, uh, all the best to you, Jimmy Joe Scraddle. Episode 8 of Scrattle Vision. I'm already being told that there's uh, technical issues, and I guess that, that's uh, that's kind of standard out of the box here. So, um, you know, I don't know. But uh, supposedly what's going on today is, uh, you know, we had a, a little foreword from Gilbert Gottfried. I don't know if everybody could hear that. Um, and then uh, thank you for the Eggs' family band for the Scrattle Vision theme song. Uh, especially with Leaf Carney right on top of that, uh, playing some uh, screaming uh, uh, guitar that he that he did last show with us. Um, and then today, uh, I'm gonna have the Beast Infection on. Um, and so, without uh, further ado, let me uh, let me get them on. Hold on a second here. Mike Frank, can you hear me? Hey, loud and clear. All right. First of all, welcome to Scrattle Vision. And, uh, you know, uh, I guess we should start by maybe playing Mako My Day. Here we go. All right. All right. Is that the Make- cops? They're the cops. <laughs> I'm getting arrested, apparently. You know what? I'm just going to turn us off on this. We'll enjoy this and come back and, like, let's have, like, Scotchburg time when we come back. All right. Sounds great.
Naked sharks. Five more sharks. Sharkleberry Finn. Better get Mako. Lego my Mako. I need to make a phone call. Smile, you son of a bitch. Mango my day. Mango my day. I didn't realize there was some credits on this. Oh, look at those memes. I know some of those memes. Hey, Mario. Oh, it goes on. It's going to go on for like 20 more minutes. <laughs> Seems like everyone in Philly, right here. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry I didn't uh, get. Oh, I, I prematurely ejected from the uh, from the video. It's but, another yeah, Saturday worth night. Sticking show. around for. So um, I don't know, guys. What's next? What do you want me to play next? I mean, but I, I figured you know first a quick. Scottsburg I think it's time. Scottsburg time. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for coming on the show. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Oh shit! Ah shit! Yeah, we don't curse on on Scrattle TV. We try to keep it clean, but you know, hey, it doesn't always happen that way. Oh, I mean, uh, uh, uh oh. That's better. Heaven's sake! <laughs> All right, so, uh, so yeah, so what year was that? Did you, did you guys make <laughs> that video? 20 VCE. <laughs> no, I was, uh, what would, uh, what would you say? What was, what was that? Like, tw- uh, 2007. Scrubbing? Uh, the beach scene was the coldest day of the year, of course, because, you know, how else would that work, right? I remember you guys didn't tell me that <laughs> uh, we were going into the ocean <laughs> until. Right, we well, you wouldn't the go ocean. then, right? Would you? Well, the, you guys said you were going to throw me in the ocean unless, like, we went in knee deep. Like, uh, yeah, I had no idea we were going in the ocean, so I didn't have, like, towels or blankets. Or, but, uh, did any of us? I don't remember. No, but we survived. We just had some uh, Wawa hoagies and iced tea. That was the, the longest beach, too. So, like, the walk back from the freezing cold water took forever to get back to the van with the tow. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, it was like, a day to remember, I, I think. You know? You know what? I did have towels, I think. I think that they brought towels for us. I don't think we were responsible for towels. Probably Maybe. not. There would have been no towels. Yeah, no. We didn't hold our pants up. Because so none of us have- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, hey, here's the story to that. All right. So, all of our pants kept falling down. And, uh, you know, there's lots of ass cracks. I mean, uh, butt butt cracks <laughs> in the video, and that's because the person tailoring all the shorts 
didn't have really anyone's measurements, even though I tried to get them. And they're being made around the corner from the bar that they were all three sitting at. But they couldn't be bothered. They couldn't be bothered to come get measured for their shorts. So instead, they just bit the whole time. They kept falling down. Yeah, apparently. You know, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm past that, right? <laughs> it's like four, four past houses it. away. It was like um, a half. A, it was like half a block, like literally around the corner from the bar. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. We were gonna get there eventually. We still are. <laughs> so, still get there. what year did you guys like kind of start together as a band? Well. I would say, like, would it be like the end of 2004 or five? It was just me and Steve. And we didn't, well, I don't even think we had a name. But we uh, we tried to rap for our first song about <laughs> dust, which I don't think either of us were, like, doing at all. I've we never done about, dust, no. We tried to it, fictionalize it. <laughs> right, like, right. We, we, did, we wrote a rap about, like, you know, uh, purchasing dust it was really cool and uh i think i had a kb drum set that i was running through a flanger and yeah that was so so that didn't you know that was in our artsy experimental days you know and then uh brought another person in was that like oh, yeah. So, yeah, two, two, 2005 to answer your question all right. I mean, like, yeah, like uh, th I got a lot of cool stuff to play here. I mean, I don't know where to start. Do you guys want to, you know, dictate what I what I what I play here? I mean, you guys sent over so much stuff. And uh, what's that new collage that just worked out really well with the slideshow? Can we show that to those guys? Yeah. You want me to play that right now? Yeah, I think that That's was pretty good. Yeah. So this was Rumble. You sent over something, Rumble, something, something, and then Steve told me to put a song to it. It was at the show at Tom's house where yeah, the box was. Really, really oh, Rumble. okay, yeah, yeah. That was um. So that was a benefit for the Free Rangers of Burma. Yeah, the Free Burma Rangers. Yeah, the Free Burma Rangers, and um, it was called Rumble for the Jungle. Yeah. And, Does that? Um, I lived in a boxing gym, a former boxing gym. That's why. So Those are real on. boxing posters all over the walls. Yeah. Um, there was a few opening acts. Yeah. Quite a few. Well, I told Steve this is like one of those videos where, like, where like it seems like somebody else is playing your mu the music in the beginning, and then the regular band comes on because, like, anyway, you'll just have to see it. Anyway, this, yeah, enjoy this. Uh, here we go. I'm just gonna get this going here right now. Hold on. Oh, wow. 
That was beautiful. Oh. Who was that first band that was on forever? Oh, uh, so that was a band, something Mountain the, something uh, or the, Mountain the Time or the music. Um, that band played, I think, longer than we did. Remember, <laughs> they played for like an hour and a half or something. And there's lots of photos because the guitar player was uh, Nate's like bestie. Who's? Yeah, the guy taking all the pictures and the videos. Oh yeah. Nate, Nate, Nate Sherman is the photographer. You know? The one that always fell on the stairs or somebody else. Yeah, yeah. He always dropped the cameras. Yeah. Oh, and uh the the show was cut short because the word noise complaints. Yeah, the cops came. Cops came yeah. a couple times, right? They did, but I think we finished our set. Well, they just came to compliment us. They were like, you guys are really good, but the next guys, is, we're going to have a noise complaint. There's something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Yeah. Let's say it was an overall success, right? Yeah. It looks like a fun show to me. It was fun. It was a good time. I think by the time we went on, we were uh, everyone was a little incapacitated. Maybe. I think I got some like DVDs still in there. That's unfortunate. I mean, it looks oh, like, yeah, it like sucks when you invite people into your home. Yeah, I guess that's the risk of having it in your living room. Um, do you have the, uh, any of the tritone live stuff, Dre? Steve yeah. wants to see chest hair. Oh, you want yeah. chest hair? I got chest hair. I can, I can... So Steve wants. He wants chest hair. I can get yeah. that going Before right you. now. Yeah, hold on a second. Most I saw Mike's face through that whole last one. What? Mike was like layered over the video. Oh, I did. I did that for a minute. Sorry about that. There he is. Chest head.
sound sweetness. <laughs> who's that on? Track. Who's that on drums? That Daniel Vert, man. Yeah, who's playing wow. drums? No one. <laughs> no one's playing them. Someone's just Steve, abusing great them. Great chops on the bass, man. That is fucking some solid stuff right there. I bro. think I think that was the video that got Steve married, right? Yeah, is that what did it? Yeah, it went viral, and then I had a whole bunch of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like the, the bachelorette yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got uh we got sponsored by nair for that one actually yeah oh my gosh man. that was before the woolly mammoth tattoo yeah oh yeah, it was before right? the woolly mammoth yeah, we get we get to see that or what what oh no but good 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 job on that one i like it what uh, was a that was a that was one of our club hits, actually. They uh, got remixed by a bunch of European DJs. Yeah, Steve, is um, that your? Is, was that your bass that you were playing? Like, is that the one that like is in your basement? The one like? No, nope. That's Tom's bass. Yeah. Oh, okay. The worst bass ever. I was just gonna say it's a pretty sweet bass. I, I didn't remember. That is yeah. like an inch off the fretboard. It's... It was the most painful bass. Like it just like your hands would hurt for days after shows. Yeah, we didn't know what intonation. We're like, I guess this is what life is like now. Yeah. We pick up a real bass. We're like, what? You guess how it's. Uh, yeah. The story is, is it took a flight, and the pressure in the plane did that to the bass. I thought it was like left in a van outside or some shit. No, I think it had to do with the the flight. I think. Hmm. Or, or yeah, it could have been that. It was one or the other. Either or. I don't know. I remember we lent it to some proper band once. And I think we almost killed her, the basis. Oh yeah. And, and yeah, because the fingers were just too yeah. yeah. It was it wasn't a good but it was a bass. Which yeah. is all we could ask for. Well, you know. It was uh it went through a couple hands for uh Landed in uh yeah, got it from Chris. Uh, yeah, and he got it from uh Ben Kenny. Um, hey, you guys also sent over uh, some stuff. Be some pine. Yeah, what? let's do that. Tell tell me uh, about that. What was what was this? Was this a, a show you guys did on Pine Street? Dirty Franks. When we played the outside show and we made those little girls cry. You played at Dirty Franks. Yeah, it was a vlog yeah. party festival, I think, or something. It might have been their last one, or I don't know. What year? But like, yeah, I think I think I, I think we were the last one that had bands play. I don't remember, but yeah, it was. Uh, Dirty Franks had a blo- an annual block party, and we were asked. We were we were asked to play. Yeah, yeah. that's I, uh, that's awesome. We played with the uh, Purple Generals, I believe. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, should I should I play some? Uh, some last should I play? Yeah. Should I play some uh, memories from 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 that day? Oh Wait. yeah, absolutely. All right, here I go. I'm gonna do this. Hold on, I don't know which one to do first. I'll just do this. <laughs>
R D U I. Smooth. S A T U R D U I. Smooth. S A T U R D U I. Scrattle Vision. That was the Beast Infection with the Beast on Pine and Amazing Race. Steve. Yes. You got anything to add to that? No, that was just uh that was a good time. Uh I wore a wig for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a Merkin for no reason. If there's a reason. <laughs> I think he was afraid that someone would recognize him. <laughs> oh yeah, I was probably haunted, hunted, hunted by somebody. I have a lot of enemies, and uh, well, it was like you know, it was out in public. You know, people didn't have to pay to see us, so I think you know, Steve was just you know a little embarrassed, you know, just hiding. Yeah, if you had enemies, they probably would be from the last drop and Dirty Franks. <laughs> oh, absolutely, that's where they would be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. kills them. Yeah, I have to protect my periphery at all times because of my line of work. <laughs> that last shot, I think, was a sound check because I had to stand in the background and not in costume. Mm. Oh, good eye. Wow. Well, I saw Diana. You're, like a, de- you're like a detective. Save that for the DVD uh, commentary. <laughs> we'll have to remember that. So, so this is the part where we talk. Well, the Wasabi house that was in the background has. <laughs> It says move down the street to where the taco house used to be. <laughs> and um, you can no longer have a stage in that street anymore. And uh, well, everything's changed. City's changed. Well, it became Fun. Burlington for you. That's a big what? Change. Don't tell them where I live. There's people looking for me. There's a lot of people looking for shark people. Yeah, what's his where, name? Where, uh, where sharks? Where sharks? They yeah. turn into shark dogs on the full moon, and then they're on land biting people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where are all sharks? <laughs> where sharks? <laughs> so, Jay, do we have another song queued up? Well, would you guys like a video, or would you like take us on it? Take uh, us on a journey. Don't play any journey. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the? Oh, we were on the radio. We got a request for. Uh... Oh, we did. We got a re- request for Rush. I think, right? Uh, yeah. Did we, we play it? We did. Well, we played like the, the one snippet we always play. Yeah. I mean, and I, we fooled them. They were like, they thought they got us. Here's what mm-hmm. I got going here. I mean, I have a Human Z video. I have a Suck It video. I've got some. Uh, I've got the Best of the Beast uh, going with Misfit Toys, or uh, I've got the the, the Mako release party um, with I forget which song. Oh, that one should be good. You should go with that one. You want the there's some like partial party? nudity in it. <laughs> Let's try to one. The Mako Beast Party. Hey, Jay, isn't this all being released on... Wait, what, Steve? Isn't this all being released on Spotify soon? Well, you know, Steve, uh, thanks for bringing that up. Uh, I'd like to welcome the Beast Infection to Scribble Scrab Sounds. Um, You know, and basically, uh, we've, yeah, we've launched all this stuff on lots of different... uh, media platforms including uh spotify i'll put a i'll put a link in in you know like i guess when we do this but yeah 
Uh, you can now find um, Beast Infection not only on uh, not only on Spotify, but also on uh, iHeartRadio, um, as well as a lot of other streaming uh, things like uh, you know iTunes Music, um, Amazon Music. Uh, Beast Infection is everywhere. It's in Zoom Radio. Everybody, everywhere. <laughs> It'll get on Pandora eventually. I mean, we're just waiting for it all to be released. You know, like, uh, you know. Oh, we're all going to get rich together. I, the pennies are going to roll in. Honestly, uh, if I if I ever get back my investment, uh, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> so where is, this is uh, this is like a it's like we're forming a, a new alliance or an empire. But here. I'm glad I'm glad we could do this together. No, this is this is great. I mean, like, really, I haven't put out a big noise about it, but you know. Uh, uh, trying to do a a, a a record company called Scribble Scrab Sounds and Beast Infection was kind enough to come on the record label and release their stuff with us um, you know uh, and and I live down the street from a record plan maybe I can sneak in and uh, press them you know I, anything you can press I would be that would be great yes I mean let's talk I'm I'm you know, I'm I'm just happy. I'm just happy that you guys are kind of, you know, that that you guys agreed to do this. Like, like, like I said, I want it to be like a family together, and I like this. So the stuff we have a, being, you know, we have an estranged brother, right? <laughs> I thought Steve was our ancestral cousin. No, he's the strange brother, but we have an estranged one. Who's that? Yeah, it's not just two of me in all those videos. That's Phallus. Guy- We're missing Phallus Cooper. This is oh, all that's a fundraiser. Right. You guys have a missing a missing member. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're missing our left our left testicle. Yeah. Right. James was the left testicle of the band. All right, explain this. Boy, so what are you insinuating if he's the left one? Uh I don't explain then, it. Yeah. What happened? Where's this guy? We don't know. We can't. We're we're funding a documentary called Finding Munson. Oh yeah, so that's a, that's an idea we'd like to talk about is uh, getting some sort of financial backing to launch our documentary that includes uh, hiring a private investigator to locate Mister Cooper. And um, I mean, well, what would well, really actually draw him out is if we did actually I'd start becoming the lucrative, then he would actually uh, come know, to us. But uh, you know, I did for uh, you know the 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 beast infection release. Why didn't you come to me with this? Like I'm, re- you know, we are. Well, I'm I'm think we are right now. You know, I think I think this is uh, I think this is it right here. You know, we'll find them together. <laughs> yeah, we got we got to we could get get in the in the hatchback and head out there. Yeah. Well, I- but I want to find him, but I want to find him with surf and turf every day, too. So, like, well, we need a lot of money to find him. So <laughs> I want to be comfortable, like, in my accommodations and stuff. So like last last, uh, last we heard, he was out, out west in, in in Portland, so we can actually take the original Oregon Trail to, to, to locate him, if you'd like. It's going to be a Donner party. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, listen, guys. I'm going to play this. Remember, we were gonna we were gonna play this thing. Yeah. Play oh yeah. It. I'll play, just play it. with us on it. Here we go. Oh, wait, I got to transition.
That was a quick one. So should, let's, I, uh, should I do let's another do one real quick? Or we like gave away that painting that's the backdrop. Oh yeah, someone won that painting. I can't remember. Oh, I super fan. John. Yeah, Greg. Oh. Greg now of Porterhouse fame. Yeah, I thought it was John. Greg of Porterhouse. Porter What's that bar? I don't remember. You see that right down the street from me. Well, the old version of it. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Last time I was in Philly, I drank there, though. Yeah, it was great. Scott Scott and Greg. Yeah, yeah, Scott. Wait. Um, so, would you like to talk about our stage attire? Because I would. Yeah, let's go. So, those rain suits are beast infection um, protection gear um against covid yeah i I, w- I would have to actually source it from all the different stores in philadelphia because i wasn't too uh keen on this whole online purchasing thing yet you know that all the kids were doing so i would physically travel to every store in philadelphia that sold um camping and you know like all those stores on chestnut all of them that sold all the crap basically and um instruments too so what i found out was that they're all different some of them are thicker some of them are thinner and i found out that the thinner ones uh the the spray paint that i put on the on the suits would eat plastic (laughs) but i didn't find that out until we were on stage so the suits would basically rip themselves off of our bodies if we moved too much, which was another part of our act, eventually. Yeah, yeah the whole dancing segment. Yeah, so, so uh, like you know we're we're multi we're well. multifaceted. We're not just one of those one dimensional, sexy boy bands you might have thought we were. You know. You also had dissolving clothes. We also had dissolving clothes, exactly. You know, we thought of that first. No one else ever had dissolving clothes, right? Every show is a wardrobe malfunction. Like we did it before Janet, or after Janet, or like maybe the, was that the same year? I don't know. I mean, we were both in the same room, like throwing ideas around. Janet Jackson was throwing around ideas. We were throwing around ideas. It could have been anybody's idea first. We had more than that. Definitely. Uh, what do you what do you uh what do you got next, huh? Oh sorry, I was gonna play another Yeah, do it. Wait a minute, sorry. Hold on, give me a second here. Yeah, here we go. I'll do another I'll do another uh another one of these scribble scrabs. Give me a second. We got a heavy rep. We we got a heavy rep.
yeah. That night ended in like a semi fight, and Mike Frank ran in and stole the guy's shoe. Wait, what? 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 I do? I don't know. For some reason, we were we were, well, we were super drunk and drank all the prize beer, but uh, <laughs> we got in some sort of scrap at the very end of the night. And oh uh, yeah, I think someone. I think we thought someone was messing with us, and then um, I stole their shoe. Yeah, you stole their shoe. So they tried to fight us. Very effective though, because like now he doesn't have a shoe. I mean, you know, what do you expect for people like you know? They, everyone had to get their beers out of the toilet, you know. Yeah, what's that about? You see that? Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah, we're all getting our beers out. You know, that's where that's where they served up. You know, it's before Bob and Barbara's had like a fridge, I think. <laughs> but yeah, that was uh. So yeah, a little story there. It's uh, that's um. The people that put on the drunk spelling bee were the ones that uh, uh, helped us with the Make Oh My Day video. That was the, you see the director. Sweet. There in a couple shots, Jenna. Yeah, the beginning. Some of the camera, camera crew was in there. Um, you know, we had a, we had a good, we had a good partnership with them, you know. They were like, we were like family. Mm-hmm. We did drink all the beer though that they were supposed to. I don't to. remember that. I think they did. They give it to us to drink though. Well, they gave us beer to drink. We drank all that, and then we drank the beer that you were supposed to win if you won the spelling bee. I don't <laughs> remember that. Maybe I was, that was probably what caused the fight. Is because someone's like, "Where's my prize stuff?" And we're like, "We we." They had to give it. Uh, I don't. I you know I don't remember that at all. Yeah, but that's what's because that's you drink drank all the prize stuff. beer. I don't know. I think I was hanging out with Jenna a lot that that period. So maybe I, that's why I knew. But yeah, they had to like give it to him like the next day. Oh uh, yeah, I don't remember any of that. It was actually sponsored, I think too. If they got that beer free, that we drink. Oh yeah, that was when like that was when uh, the spelling bee was actually taking off, and um, yeah, it was in the Inquirer that Sunday before oh. that or after that actually, because I guess they took the pictures there. Hey, the Inquirer was there. Ooh, so what and was they, the drunk spelling bee? Yeah, they were taking pictures of us. They, I guess they thought that we were at all of them, but you know we weren't. Uncut productions. It, it was because like we were the celebrity judges, so people would like. My job was to make sure people were drunk enough to, um, uh, like perform on it. So I would ask. Sure they're <laughs> drunk enough to perform. So I would ask girls like, "Would you go out with me on a date?" And they'd be like, "No." And I'd be like, "She's not drunk enough." And like, <laughs> you know, it was kind of, it was a little bit vaudeville, like. Yeah, and uh, that's a lot. I think of we were supposed to right see there. if they were spelling the words right, but I think we just ended up heckling people. I don't know. Yeah, because we don't know how to spell and didn't care about it, and we drank all the prize beer, and the Enquirer interviewed us but never mentioned us. <laughs> there you go. That's history. Oh, I forgot they interviewed us. I forgot a lot about Did that. Did they interview us? Maybe I wasn't there. I don't know. They, they yeah, interviewed they interviewed us and then recoiled and then went away. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, Because I'm like, oh, they went away from us pretty quick after wanting to interview us. I bet that's not going to show up. And lo and behold, <laughs> did not. Well, you probably talked to James, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Meth breath. What do you guys think about me playing Human Z right now? Do it. So, uh, the next song, uh, I sent my son to uh, do the Darwin thing. Got me, got me thinking about some things about my life and all. Darwin, all right. You might think we're pretty good now. You might even think we're great. But we're only a couple of brothers built 
Steve, you got any comment on that? That was based on the human Z uh, theory that James came across about a half monkey, half person. Mm-hmm. Listen means, and then he wrote a song about it. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. That's a real. He was up all night watching PBS. It was a story of Oliver, the human Z. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, James was, of course, fascinated because what it all boiled down to was that they had to uh, get rid of this upright walking chimpanzee because it wouldn't stop. Um, sexually uh advancing on one of the scientists and so that you know resonated with james somehow i've heard like a like a porpoise can be that way like very rapey just like wants to you know just wants to like really get off on their scientist you know yeah 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 that one so uh let me ask you um this james person you guys don't know what happened to him he, uh, well, we know what happened to him. He just kind of, uh, uh, I think the kids call it ghosting or something. Uh, he, we know he left, we know where he went, but he would not, he, uh, he decided, um, to end communication. But we knew that when he was leaving. talking to you guys. We knew well, so, leaving. so it turned out, like, we kind of knew, we didn't think he'd do it to us, though, you know? Oh, I thought so. But, um. That's true. Before oh, I wasn't moved, shocked at all, yeah. Before he moved to Philadelphia, he lived in New York for 10 years. And um, when we went and played our one and only show at Club Europa in, um, what was that, Greenpoint? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and, uh, and, none and of his let friends. Me ask, that what he was his had... function in the band? What? Oh, he's yeah. the loud one. You see it front a lot. Okay. He's, he's the, the one that looks like Tom. He's the one that looks like yeah, that one. You know how there's two guys that look the Molson twins. Is their proper name? The Molson, Molson twins. All right, that's good. Keep it. <laughs> All right, uh, but I yeah, get, yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. You get it. And then my my brother tagged him as me in a photo once. I was like, "What the fuck? We don't look bad." Sorry. We don't look that much. Know, your, your own well, brother. I mean, like, that's, how many times have people come where... up to you at bars and uh, accuse you of things? Though? Who knows? I'm, you know, just you know, throwing it out there for your brother. It did work out because I got, I got like a band from one of the after hours places, but I'd always just say it was like, him when I came in, so I could still get in like, like seventy five percent of the time. Because I just blamed it on James, but then he would offend lots of women and blame it on me, or at least I would just get the blowback because they assumed it was me. I assume it was James. So it worked both ways. Well, both so had to carry the sins you're of their still brothers. Slapped for things he said, like in the nineties. <laughs> well, no, not that far. It's not current. that bad. Okay, just check. Pretty bad. I knew if I went in somewhere and some and some lady was glaring at me, I was like, I knew that James had been there and offended her at some point. Stop raping me. Stop raping. No, I'm sorry. I just. I'm... <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, listen, uh, th- th- there's another song here called Suck It, which with a video, which I love. I love this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to end with this because I don't think there's anything else. I, th- I-, I think there's nothing else left to play, really. Are we, are we talking about this before you shoot it and then like you know that's that or are we uh, coming back together uh, after you play it I don't know what what do you guys what do you feel I, I think we should just feel? end on the video because it, it would have been a perfect hour then like just as soon as the video like no goodbyes it like, literally it, is it's a, it's we've been here for an hour I mean if we if we so this the video if we is end on uh suck it I think it's actually a perfect uh, it, it, that was our end song. It's a perfect too. circle. Yeah, and that's uh. So I'll just let you know right now, though. This is before we were Beast Infection. We were still Buddy System, and uh, oh. when we were still uh, mm-hmm. when we were still um looking for a bassist, when we were still looking for our uh, our other twin. This so, is before. Uh, we, so we hired Tom because he just because he looked like James. Yeah, and it was a it was, a, hired, it was a bonus. Yeah. The bonus that uh you know. <laughs> That he could play and that he was uh, his his personality was 
was um, almost Wasn't the that- opposite, you know? Yeah. Well, we were supposed to start a band, Mike, for like years anyway. So yeah, that too. That well, too. I, I, you know, thing. I'm a huge. I've always been a huge fan of the Beast Infection, and you know everything that Steve sent me over the years. You know, I met Steve in 2002, and he's just sent me all the projects that he's been involved in, and he and I stay in touch and play music together, and it, it's been a lot of fun and. I, I, I'm a huge Beast Infection fan, and for you guys to agree to be together on Scribble Scrab Sounds, you know, S3 Records, I'm really, really excited that you guys did this, and, you know, I, I hope you guys are excited to be distributed worldwide, all over the internet, Scribble Scrab, Scribble Scrab. Absolutely. Now you have, uh, you guys. I have you have all our music just... that you can you can take a bath in, you know. What's that? Roll in it. I didn't hear that. I'm not going to repeat that one. <laughs> I'll, I'll just listen back. I, I, I have a ton of CDs, so I don't know. I probably have more tracks. If you want them? I want I want everything. Yes. Also, so I mean, like anybody who, and actually, I mean, like you know, honestly, I'm just meeting you through this you know and but uh i'm an archivist really i keep everything especially digital files and like i mean like i i know there's the like the internet database and everything but i i just really love cultivating a collection you know what i mean and that's what i do and it's if my collection is made from the people that i meet that i love to interact with and that i can say hey i know this guy you know like i just i love this kind of stuff that's why i'm doing what i'm doing with scrattle vision and 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 everything else you know it's just i really enjoy doing this you know meeting and it's it's all friends of friends of friends you know it's just widening your circle you know like 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 a goat <laughs> uh. <laughs> was that, maybe that was the wrong reference. Uh, Steve just checked out. What? There no. he is. He's back. Look at him. I brought him back. I think. Uh, <laughs> goatsy. Heard it. They came back in. Like a goatsy. Yeah. What about uh? What about uh? Soul patches though. Are they back yet? I'm waiting. I'm working on mine. Well, I guess I'm gonna. Uh, are we gonna end this on suck it and just call it a night or what? Anybody yeah, got anything to add? Yeah. That was the end of all of our sets in the second. Well, the dance off was really the end, but yeah. What's the dance? Do we have the dance off? I'm not dancing. I'll break something. All right. Let's let's, let's do the suck it then. All right. Give me a sec. Well, here we go. We're going to end this. Let's suck it without the sack, I guess, though. We're gonna end this. Oh yeah! Wait, real second. quick. We should mention the uh, our sax player, the one of the, the the secret fifth member, Chang Wang, also known as Billy Dufala. Um, he's well, uh, yeah, absolutely. Give give give. Doing a lot of he's doing a lot of stuff in the art community these days. R A I R, rare, Philadelphia. That's where he's working on this project out of the recycle center. So yeah, check that out. Okay. He also right uh, blows a mean horn well, or uh, something <laughs> like that. Well, we're ending this on Suck It. So, hey, Beast Infection, I love you. I always have. I'm so glad to have uh, you guys all on here. Well, three right. quarters of you anyway. Thanks for the opportunity of world domination. <laughs> Yeah, nice right here, brother. Right here. And we'll just end with suck it. Here we go. Here we go. I gotta just play it. I gotta play it and then do the thing.